we're back. Right, so mod changes. I have not added or changed any mods really. However, somebody on YouTube pointed out that they had noticed my wear system was not working. Uh, the wear system is in Frostfall. Basically, it's the system that lets your clothing protect you from the cold and the wet. And this explains why it was I was having so much trouble staying warm. Um, basically, as I upgraded Frostfall, it had deactivated wear. Not totally sure why, but it had. So I activated it, and now, hopefully, I put the leather fur trim there. Yes, there we go. Full exposure protection, excuse me. Full exposure protection. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so what's what has changed? A lot. I have actually been playing for about an hour and a half, two hours off camera, doing utterly boring stuff. Um, first thing, I have got rid of a lot of gear. You'll notice my carry weight is now 184. I have got rid of a lot of things. I had a couple of bows that were interesting, and I am going to come back to them. I've stored them in my horse. Someone actually said, oh, you should use it. It's better than your glass short bow. Uh, it's not. The best one was the exact same damage as my glass short bow, and the other one was slightly worse. Already I can feel people be typing, going, no, 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 it was 200 and something damage. Yes, it was. And when it was 200 and something damage, so was the glass short bow. The damage on my bows changes depending on the situation because of Skyri. And the, when you look at bows, you have to compare them at the exact moment together. So I can compare this glass short bow to the Orcus short bow right now. But only now. If I look at them in, in another situation, my Orcus short bow might well have a damage of 160. But when I check my glass short bow, it will probably have one of 180 or something. Um, not sure how it works, but that I have checked. Both of those bows, if you look at them side by side, uh, at the same time, they are less than the damage on this. However, I'll tell you what I did find. God, I wonder if he's still got it. I've been playing around a bit. The Smith had a bow, a Stalrim bow. I'm not totally sure if that was while I was doing my crafting or if it was... With the Aspen, oh, you've got a good thing going on. here. Take a look. Well done, friend. Did he have it? No, he's got a Stalrim Maul now. Oh, that's a shame. Um, I, I, I was checking in one of the... Um, when I was messing around with some of the mods, and he had a Stalrim bow, and I noticed it was slightly better than the glass one, so I'm going to keep my eyes open on the smith in case he gets Stalrim bows, because they look really good. So that is one bow that is better than glass. So, okay, why have I been playing for hours then? Um, I have been doing everything. I have done tons of crafting. I made a lot of arrows. I have lots of steel arrows now. And I stored a lot of arrows in my servant, my secret servant. I emptied all the gear from my secret servant. What's our next and move? most of the gear from... If it'll help us Teldrin, get moving I? quicker, sure. Yes. Why do you... Why do you have Dukan? All right, taking that off you. Right behind you. And then on my secret servant, I lay, I put tons of firewood. I put my my tent, my cooking pot, and so on. So I, I all the emergency gear I need to survive. I gave him that, so that I don't get, you know, horribly viciously killed by the cold water. Um, ooh, ebony armor, and ebony garments, and ebony helmet. I will explain in a second. I will explain in a second. Where was do do begin with D? You can have that. The horse can have this. Um, I'm just gonna go to the smelter. Can Lord I Invalid, smelt that into of the no. Guard at your service. no, because I don't have the ebony perk, which is annoying. Right. So why was I checking that? Um, I, while I was crafting, I leveled and got some perks, and I've taken two, um, two perks. One allows me to improve the quality of enchanted items. So I, I can now improve enchanted glass armor as long as I have the glass perk as well. 
And I also took another one that allows me to smelt down materials from items. So the ebony armor, I could turn it into ebony ore or ebony ingots, I believe. But, of course, I need the ebony burk as well. So I'm going to save all that gear for that. I did a lot of potion making and got my... My alchemy skill is now 83, and I took one perk in there. I took one perk in there that makes my health potions a little better, but I haven't used, I haven't made any potions since taking that perk, so my current potions are still a bit weak. Um, oh, and I need to favorite all of my potions. I forgot to do that. For smithing, as I said, taking those two perks, I did notice, or well, not notice, but it, I remind, got reminded that for example, if I wear all leather now, I get a boost to heat and cold. If I wear all elven, I get a boost to spellcasting, not useful. And glass armor. Full glass armor might absorb incoming spells. That means if I wear a glass helmet and have this perk, I will actually absorb spells even more. Um, and that's without using something like dragon skin. So that could be useful. What? Map update. What, what did I miss? Somebody gave me a... Who? Huh? Okay, that what map updated with with what with what journal um, new source of Stalrim. Uh, here's the thing. Here's the here's the amusing thing. Um, the Stalrim that I was having so much difficulty finding last time, um, and then suddenly noticed it. It's the place I've already been and completely mined. It, I I discovered all these tombs. And mined them for loads of Stalrim. That, that was that were already there. So there you go. Talk about epic failure of noticing things. Um, so, oh yeah, that's um, miscellaneous. Bring tell ten Stalrim ore and fifteen ebony ingots to Halborn. I have thirteen ebony ingots now because I went and I mined a lot of ebony in the mine. Well, as much as I could. Oh, and I killed a dragon. Yes. <laughs> I, I know. Right. I wasn't recording, so I'm afraid you missed it. But I was crafting. I was buying stuff. I was wandering back and forth, having a night's sleep off camera. And a nether dragon attacked to the down, and I killed it. There you go. Wayfair increased. So, that's it, I think. I have done so very, very much. I have I bought water. I've got firewood, got it on my... Uh, yeah, done that. What else did I say I was going to do? Arrows, got arrows, made potions. We're ready to go. I have told Roly he's staying here. It makes too much noise and I always lose him. I end up parking him everywhere and losing him. He's staying there guarding the horse. And we have got some things to do. After all that babbling on about the things I've done in town. So let's get on what are we doing actually let's i gotta go see nelroth tell him about the black book well give him the black book and i've got to go to the skull village um and i believe that is everything oh no right you know what else i have to do i i have to read death brand i have been told at a certain level i should read it again yes prior knowledge but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, death brand. So, do I get a quest? Do I have to read this? No, still too low level, or do I have to close it to get it first? Search for the treasure of Hackney Death. You know what? I want to know what I'm searching for. Deathbrand, a pirate's tale. Hackneyed Deathbrand was dying. Well, that's a way to start a story, isn't it? Main hero is about to drop dead. All right. Hackneyed Deathbrand was dying. For Garrick Windrime, ship's quartermaster, it was unthinkable. His grandfather had served under Hackneyed nigh on 60 years before, and even then, he was a legend among the pirates of the North. The King of the Ghosts, they called him, as eternal and pitiless as the sea he sailed. To Garrick, who had seen him charge into battle, clad in armour of gleaming Stalrim like the kings of old, his twin swords scything men like grass, 
Hackney was practically a god, but none feared Hackney more than his own crew. They knew his rages, his fits of madness, how he delighted in torture and murder for its own sake. And there were even some darker rumours. Some said he fed upon the blood and souls of those he killed to extend his unnatural life. Ooh, is he like a... a lich? Is he, a, is he undead? A vampire? Well, I guess we'll find out. Some thought him a Daedra, loosed upon the mortal world. And others said he owed his life and power, his armour and his swords, to a pact with Dagon, Prince of Destruction. And the seal of that pact was a terrible wound that scarred his face, never to heal, the death brand, which no man could look upon without flinching. All these things ran through Garrock's mind as he took his place on deck at the head of the crew, exchanging a curt nod with Thalin, the ship's helmsman, and his chief rival. By sundown, he thought, one of them would be captain, and the other would be dead. When Hackney finally emerged from his cabin, the crew fell silent. He looked frail, his voice raspy, but even so, he had a presence about him. As he looked over his men, the most brutal murderers ever to ply the northern seas, not one could meet his gaze. At last, he sighed. You wish to know who will be my successor and how my share of the treasure shall be divided. That was the question, but even so there were murmurs of protest. Hackney cut them all off. All these years I've looked for one who is worthy to take my place, or strong enough to take it from me. Not one of you even comes close, and so none of you shall have it. This definitely seems to be leading up to me, doesn't it, really, if you think about it. He extended his hand. In Dagon's name I place a curse upon my armour and my swords, this ship and all it carries, until the day when one of you can best me in combat. You should... Wait a minute. You're dying. So he's undead, isn't he? He's definitely going to be undead. Until the day when one of you can best me in combat, you shall have not a single coin. He looked up at them. Be grateful I have left you with your lives. It's kind of cool, though. <laughs> Garrick and Thalin shared a single glance. Had anyone else said a such a thing, there would have been a mutiny. A hundred treasure-mad pirates against one old man. But this was Hackneer. The crew was silent. Hackneer threw a map at Garrick's feet. Garrick, take a longboat and bury my armour in the places I have marked. Thalin, we sail to my tomb, where you shall leave me with my gold. And apparently you need to get bested in single combat. In your tomb. Then burn your ships and do as you will. I am your captain no more. And with that he turned and stalked back to his quarters. At daybreak, Garrick took his leave and set out in a longboat. With three of his men. They landed on a shoal to the north of Solstheim, at the place Hackner had marked. Made camp and began to dig. But already greed stirred in Garrick's heart. Time and again he glanced at the iron-bound chest they had brought with them. The old man was gone, perhaps already dead. His orders foolish. That night, Garrick pried open the chest and drew out the helm within. The star rim shimmered in the moonlight. It was time, time for a new king of the ghosts to rise. He placed the helmet on his head, and he screamed. And it is said you can hear that screaming still on moonlit nights on a rocky shoal off the northern coast of Stol Solstein. Northern coast. Guess where we're going. Postscript. This story is one of the last in the Hackney saga. Uh, does that mean there are several books? Because this story is actually pretty cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to definitely do this on uh, one of my uh, readings. This is, this is a cool book. The tale surrounding the life and adventures of the legendary pirate King Hackney Deathbrand. How much of it is actually true, if indeed any of it is true, I leave to the reader's discretion. Artiste Raylan. Right. Oh, cool. Right. You know what this means, don't you? This means we're on a treasure hunt. We're on the treasure hunt for... Oh, let's have a look. Journal. No quest. Is it a miscellaneous? Search for the treasure of Hackney Deathbrand. Way up north. Well, I'm going up there anyway. Alright, well, we're going to... 
we're going to tell Mithrim first, and then we're going to go right up north, go to the Skarl village, and then... After there, we will carry on up to find the treasure of Hakne Deathbrand. Sounds pretty cool, actually. All right. Onwards! Okay, that's an Argo. <laughs> You just knew he wasn't going to leave me alone. I, if he's wearing ebony armor... He is, isn't he? No? What? No. What is he wearing? Is it ebony? It, is it? Is it sad? Is it sad that I'm, I'm trying to, in this terrible light... Oh no, it's not. It's just steel armor. It's just dark. Is it? Is it? It's bad, isn't it? That while I'm busy fighting someone, I'm I'm sizing them up for whatever it is I'm going to loot from them. Too heavy. Good grief! It makes you wonder whether I should actually increase the difficulty. Although, you know, the second I do that, I'm going to start dying horribly to things like dragons. Do you think? See, the fire's still going. How is the fire going unless the bandits have respawned? Yeah, whatever. Um, right, I'll tell you what I best do. I always end up... There you go. That was, that was going to be embarrassing. I'd be in a fight, try to use unrelenting force and summon my servant or something. Yeah. It actually occurs to me that Solstein doesn't seem to respawn very often, does it? I mean, or maybe maybe the Ashborn that were here only spawn when that general. Remember that really tough general? Yeah, maybe maybe they don't spawn unless he's still alive. That would sort of make sense, would it not? Right, here we go. We're almost at Neloth's. Now, I've also been told that Having these back in the air is um, law-breaking. Apparently they've all been wiped out. Well, I'm going to have a Jurassic Park moment. You know, nature finds a way. So there you go. Science and stuff. Works for me. I like them. I really, I think they make Solstein feel more like Solstein, to be honest. They feel more, you know, morrowindy. That's a word now, by the way. Don't argue, it is now a word. Something can be morrowindy. To be morrowindish in nature. And yes, there's another word. Now I just have to figure out how to get a verb. To morrowind. I am morrowinding. I am babbling, is what I'm actually doing. Anyway, yes, while well, we're here, we're here. This is one of the reasons I've got to get back to the Skyrim mainland soon. Solstheim is turning me into a bit of a loony. It's running around these desolate, ash spawn desert type things. It's bound to drive a man insane. Tel oh, where's Teldrin? Seriously, Teldrin, you just. You're not half as entertaining as Jizargo, so stop trying to pretend to be him. Morning. Hey, friend. Good afternoon. Well? Um, have you seen Neloth? Oh, hello. I have a book for you. My new steward is acceptable. If only he made better tea. <laughs> okay. Um, I've got a black book. Excellent. Oh, I'll good just God. make Mr. a Burns. copy for myself. Excellent. It's far too dangerous to carry yes, the real. Sir. Wait, what is it? Of course you can handle yourself. Of course you can. Of course. Uh, no, no. Now, take this for your efforts. Just reverse a bit. Closed. It's dangerous for me to carry this around? Can I help you with your research? Perhaps later. For now, I have a slightly more personal request. Uh, no. You see, I'm a collector of stuffs, magical stuffs. In oh. particular, those made by Azra Nightwilder. Who? Through some divinations, I believe I've located one. 
If you retrieve it, I'll give you a staff of my own making. Knight Wielder's creations don't really hold up in comparison to what can be made today, but they have a sentimental value for me. You understand? Um, no, I don't understand. I suspect you're lying to me, and it's hugely valuable and hugely powerful. You just don't want me to know that in case I decide to take it myself. Lucky for you, I don't use staves. Is it staffs or staves? Someone's got to tell me. Who's pushing me? Good grief, having a barbarous moment there. He was the original Shadow Mage. What is a Shadow Mage? advances in magic are legendary. Can't be that Less legendary, well I've never heard of him. He's also a pioneer in the field of enchanting staffs. Every staff of his that I have uncovered has led me to greater understanding. Today we would consider his techniques rudimentary, but the genius is still evident. So this is the sort of the Newton of the staff enchanting world. Okie dokie. Right, what do you have for sale? No thank you. Right, oh, so that was a new... He was about to be rude to me, wasn't he? Um, miscellaneous, no. Azra's staffs. Get the staff. Where, where, where are we going? It's in Skyrim. Oh, well, that's fine. Not a problem. I will pick it up when I'm next there, which will be as soon as humanly possible. To work. So, don't fall off. Yes. Now one one thing, I'm just just gotta just gotta check gameplay expert. This is it's Richard is I wouldn't say he was you know a bona fide badass so to speak. Um, I, is that swearing in 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 certain places? By the way, we don't actually have that word in in England in in English English in British English. We don't say ass. We say we say ass. I don't. Can't stand the word. Um, I actually think the American versions of those words are much better. But, for example, but and ass. Um, but in England, an ass is a donkey. But is it? I mean, is it offensive when you say badass? I mean, this is. I've been playing Borderlands too, way too much. But I, I, I've always wondered: is that considered swearing, offensive? You know? Tell me, because I'll stop if it is. I don't want to offend people. Well. Oh, it's a statue. I remember that. Well, I don't want to offend people without actually meaning to. If I'm going to offend someone, I want it to be because I deliberately wanted to off offend them. Not that I want to deliberately offend. I'll shut up now. Ah, shoppers, I need their jelly. You know what? I've got a quest to collect their jelly. And... I always end up using it in my potions and forgetting. There was another one somewhere. Oh. Oh, you know what? I can't be bothered. What was I saying? Richard! Richard is actually pretty damned tough now. I mean, it's he's an expert marksman. I mean, he's in the he's in the nineties now. His armor's not that good, but. You know, with his bow, he's pretty damn strong. His shouts are fairly good. He's got incredible resistance to magic. And, you know, it's it's sometimes difficult to remember the cowardly librarian that was running away from Helgen. He really has progressed. But sometimes I just feel like things are a little too easy. And I get this temptation to increase the difficulty. And then I meet a dragon or something else and get almost killed instantly and think, no, it's a bad idea. <laughs> there, there should be some progression. He should find some fights easy, should he not? He really should. Otherwise, what's the point? That's my excuse. Hello, I I've got some... The yeah. the place still you're the guy the that I'm getting... I believe you're the guy I'm getting... The whole bit, right, I need more ebony ingots. When I give you 15 ebony ingots and a bunch of stalvin, you better give me something in return. 
And it better not be like 500 gold, I'm gonna be annoyed. Who else do I have a quest? Right! Huh? Secret servant. More cups and plates for me to carry? Yes. Well, no. I was hoping you'd say What I actually want is reekling spears. Give me the reekling spears. As you can see, he's got a lot of steel arrows. I just went completely bonkers and made tons of... Was it you? No, it wasn't you. Who am I making these for? Was it Hillen? That was Hillen. Yes! My blade, I've got a lot of reekling spears. Here you oh, go. I'm sure it will be. Give them here, and I'll get to work soon. What do I get? Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thousand gold. Oh, excuse me. Fair enough, I suppose. And let's drop the rest of them because um because of that. Steal out. Watch what you're doing. Oh sure, sure. Have some extra spears. Another mission done. Out of the way. Now all we've got to do is go to Scow. Oh. I don't know if it's because I'm I've been testing out ENB mods. But for some reason I, I feel like I'm in the vanilla game. I'm pretty sure I've got I'm pretty sure I've actually got the um Climate Zatamriel running. And I think I've got Dynavision running. Have I got Dynavision running? Yeah, yeah, that's that's definitely focusing. Subtle focus, but there it is. Um Maybe it's just it. Everything looks very pale. <laughs> okay. So. Skull. Right, we've got to give the Smith guy the map to the Stalrim source and hopefully get something for it. I'm going to take a wild stab in the dark and assume the Smith is over by. Here my mother was wasn't small, you, was it? She left the village. Baldor, the you're the one. It's good to see you again, my friend. Did you find the elves at their ship? I did, in fact, find the elves at the ship. And had a word with them about kidnapping you. They've agreed never to do it again. I know you face great danger or to bring this map to me. There are no words Ever to tell again. how glad my heart is. Thank you, brave one. The only I name you things. friend of the skull. And I will trust you with the knowledge of forging the stall. Whoa! Ooh, if really? you bring Stalrim here to my forge, you can use my tools to make what you will from it. Until our next meeting, Skull friend. I can make Stalrim things now? Bring you game, really? Your crops will awesome! Out. The only thing is, I feel like I want to say to him, look, seriously, I found the source, but I've already mined it completely empty, dude. I'm, I'm really sorry about that. So unless it, unless it regrows pretty quickly, I'm afraid I've kind of... Well, Happy to teach you. Wood, maybe, maybe more. Any time you want to hit the sky. I do not think he has the patience. I've spent enough time on this. Well, Dior and Ursa are still young. Time, I'm sure they do. Uh, no, it's not going to be that, is it? Um, Perhaps one of them not under Elven. Oh, God. What? <sighs> oh, I'm freezing. No, I can't. I be heard from Dior how you went in search of Baldor. That was very brave. And in fact, that's just the kind of courage I'm looking for. Oh, God. <laughs> no, actually, I think I'm warming up because I'm near the forge. Uh, let me guess, you need me to do something horrifically dangerous that involves me having my head bitten off. Um, I helped a man in need, that's all. Oh, let's be nice. They do like us. I've got this whole hero thing going on. Let's not make them think otherwise. Artist as well as brave. Not Most really. Admirable. I'm thinking immodest thoughts, think trust me. Yes, I think you're just the adventurous sort I am. Yes, Richard has learnt to be job. diplomatic. As a kind scholar of. of history, I've always found source time to be most intriguing. I've made many forays into the ancient ruins that cover the island. And let me guess. I've come to know those ruins so You want me to go into a new one that's actually horrifically dangerous. I noticed the new passage the moment I laid eyes on it. Ah, uh, go on. An old tomb, I think. <laughs> it, <was laughs> it would be, wouldn't it? By an earthquake that accompanied one of the Red Mountain's eruptions. I'd love to have a closer look. Those old ruins can be dangerous, and I'm no adventurer. I'll pay you to watch my back down there. No, I'll wait, what? Back there soon. 
If you're interested, meet me at the ruins and we'll see what we can find. No, no, no. Now I'm off to pack for the expedition. Oh, no, no, I, I know I was complaining about you sending me off to do this by myself, but actually, honestly, I'd not. I'm gonna get you killed, mate. Really, seriously, I've just... Mm, oh, God. Oh, I'm gonna get the old man killed. What was I... Yeah, no, I think, you know what I think here? I think I need um, another perk, don't I, on the smithing. I don't think I can actually do Stalrim until I've got, I think, it's going to be something like Ebony, isn't it? I, I, I'm not totally sure, but I think I need the Ebony perk and to have done this quest, I think. I might be wrong, I might be wrong, it's, it's difficult to know. Right. Unfortunate. Yeah, okay, so now I've got, oh dear. I'm not... I'm not in love with the idea of escorting that old man, if you couldn't tell. Oh, it's a full, ooh, it's a full blown quest. Um, on Earth, wait for a message from that. Where's that? Okay, that looks south of here in Valok's tomb. Oh, this is closer. All right, well, I... mm. Mm. this is close. We're going to try this. We're going to go along to. Hackney's Shoal. Anything else? No, that's it. So we're going to go to Hackney's Shoal, find the treasure of Deathbrand, what's his name, go here, desperately try to keep this guy alive, and then go back to Skyrim. <laughs> get out of this crazy place filled with ash and snow. So, north, we are going. We are going north, and we are remembering, yes. Um, it's good to see you again, Scarfred. By oh. saving Baldor, you helped to preserve our sacred tradition. You're welcome. See? This is why it pays... See, it's probably very nice to me now. This is why it pays to be diplomatic. Okay, I'm going to get lost and freeze to death. How am I doing? I'm currently peckish, not thirsty, not tired. Minus 16 exposure. That's not brilliant, actually. And I'm slightly peckish. Let's... Clan... Clan... I'm full. Um, I just want to warm up before I go so that I last a little bit longer. And probably the... Oh, how about standing between two heat sources? You feel you feel chilly. How about on top of it? Minus 22%. Minus 22, excuse me. Wet, 0%. Exposure, let's do it again. No, I'm, st I'm still getting cold. Yeah! So it must be really, really cold out there. Fine day to you, friend. May you die with a sword in your hand. I'd rather not die at all, thank you very much, if that's okay with you. Odd thing to say to people, really. Okay, then. Alright, we're warm now, and... Oh, God, he's still packing. Mm -hmm. you feel completely warm. For now. Run! <laughs> Actually, what is the weather out here? Yeah, it's already... You know, not thirsty, not tired, sober, and... What, what? No, no, I've... Have I changed something? Frostfall, Frostfall, come on. Overview, gameplay, effects and interface, weather sense, and... No, I, I want to I take M3, thank you. I, just, I have my middle mouth. Don't ask. People are going to be going... What, what controls are you using? Why are you using these controls? Yada, 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 yada. One-handed keyboard. Tactical board. Thrustmaster. Tactical board. Razor. Wireless mouse. Some other stuff. Because I know the questions are going to come up. I'm going in this direction. No, I'm going in that direction. Then why is my weather sense not saying, It's... Freezing! Oh no, it doesn't. Oh god, I'm being such an idiot. Yes, I'm doing it. Stop pushing me. I'm doing it again. Not noticing things that are right in front of my mind. I, I got it in my head that what I got was my exposure and the wet, and then the next line was the weather report. But it's not, it's all on one line. God, don't even ask. I have no idea why I was convinced of that, or why. It 
why I'm not paying attention to the giant walrus that probably wants to kill me. Because I was stealing his plant. Plants. Plural. Ooh, that's another one. Wait, whoa. Okay. That's where I'm going. Do you think they're friendly? <laughs> Yes, because that happens a lot, doesn't it? You feel comfortable. I'm not swimming, so I shouldn't be wet. I feel comfortable. I originally was looking over here because there was a um, Nern route. But now I want to know if there's a bunch of hostile people over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's hostile. She is not looking friendly. Yeah, yeah. Pirate! Thought you were bandits. I don't know, have I done this area before? It kind of... Uh -oh, uh -oh. You're dead, mouse. Oh, three. Why is he not running across the water? Is he, is he as scared of cold water as I am? Oh, shut up! Where are you? Aha! It's nicer. Don't make me waste arrows. Stand still and, you know, take it like a Nord. You're a Nord, I think. Take it like a man. Nice one. Uh, okay. Let's... I didn't even get wet. Anyone Anyone else? Because I'm. Hope we don't run into too many ash spots. What are you worried about Ashbomb for? We're doing fine, mate. We're... Ooh, hello. Failed to pick the lock. Pick the lock! Come on! I'm assuming I break a lock pick each time I do this. Yes! East Empire, Th that's what I'm looking for. So, oh, so, hello. hello, right, let's just check them, there's a chest there, that's, uh, that's possibly what we're looking for, which would be nice, would be nice indeed, potions, knapsack, Oh, what did I just pick up? Nightingale's fact of fiction. I have read that, even though it says I haven't. Search the pirate. Was there a, where's the, where was the main guy? The main pirate guy. It wasn't you. There he is. Death, death brand treasure. Ooh, wait a minute. Let's just rob him first. Treasure map. Let's have a look. Um, for I think that's where we are, isn't it? We're on the north coast. Just that's where we are. There's four of them. There's oh, there's one right near Neloth. And then there's one on the way to Raven Rock, and then one past Raven Rock. All right, cool. Completed. Search for treasure of Huck near Death Brand. Awesome. Started. De All right, so I haven't actually started the quest yet. Use the death brand treasure map to find. Ooh. Use the death brand treasure map to find the treasure. Treasure. It's not on my map. It won't. Pay Mogrel. Not a chance. There was one. Somewhere over there, wasn't it? No. I think it was right. There was one around here somewhere, I believe. Probably in Blood Skull Barrow, maybe? I don't, I don't know. There was one in this area. And then I think there's one up, up the coast here. This Basically, the four corners, isn't it? It was sort of like, I think there's one down here. One over here. And one down here. Oh, and of course the one we found right now. But out of curiosity, why don't I get map markers? Death brand. No, Death Brand treasure map. 
death brand treasure map is miscellaneous. It's miscellaneous, is it? Let's just cancel that. I can't equip this. All oh, right, so I just I've actually got to, oh god, old school, awesome, old school. We don't get map markers. We have to actually follow a map. Ah, oh, cool, very cool, right. Oh dear. Open. You failed to pick them up. This is not very heroic end to this, you know, little section. Defeat the evil enemy and then spend an hour and a half poking the chest with a little pick. Oh, this is not going to make a great movie. Ahaha! <laughs> Death brand the helm. Awesome. Hehe. <laughs> Brilliant. Let's take a look. What? Death brand helm. Water breathing, not useful, really. I avoid. You have got to be kidding me. 